Hi, my name is Dallas. I'm owner of Lower Gear. We get a lot of inquiries regarding the size of the gear that we're going to ship. Maybe the motel or hotel that we're going to send it to to have it waiting for you wants to know if they've got room to stash it. Maybe you're going to have it in the backpack and want to know if your backpack that you currently have is big enough. Um, and sometimes uh, how much space is it's going to take up in a car if you're flying into a destination and you've got your entire family and your regular luggage as well, how much space is the rest of it going to take up? So this is just to give you some ideas on some of the more popular items and we'll just go flip through a few of these real quick. First up are sleeping bags and as you can see from other videos and other write-ups they come in different temperature ranges. This one is a 40 degree summer type bag. This one is what we call a cold weather bag. This is a uh, t in the 20 degree range. And this big boy is our minus 20 degree. So you can get an idea about how much space these take up. To put it in perspective, I'm about 5'10 or so and this table is about 30 inches off the ground. So this thing is about two feet tall or a little less, a little over a foot, a little less than one foot. Next are our mattress pads. Um, these are of course uh, rolled up and deflated. When you blow them up they'll be big enough to hold one person underneath them. This one is our base camp large. It's about 25 inches tall and maybe eight or nine inches in diameter. When you get it, and this is what you would have to take in your car or your backpack. This one is a, a standard size backpacking one. It's about 20 inches tall and maybe four or five inches in diameter. This is another backpacking one, more in the lightweight series. It folds in half vertically, so it's only about 10 or 11 inches wide, but a little bit broader in diameter. Another piece of gear that we ship all the time are our tents. This is a light ma lightweight one-man backpacking tent, so you can see it, it packs down real nice and is lightweight. On up in the upper spectrum of the backpacking line is this one. This is a three-person backpacking tent, still lightweight, but obviously it's starting to eat up a little bit more space. And at the other end of the spectrum, this is one of the five-person car camping tent. So you can get an idea about how much space this would take up in a car. Of course, we send out a lot of backpacks. Uh, I have two of the common ones that we send out here. Uh, this is our uh, typical medium capacity pack. This one is about 60 liters, about two feet tall. And this one is a high capacity pack a little bit taller, wider, thicker, heavier. It's probably going to be, uh, this one will go out in a box that's maybe 27, 28 inches long. This one can go out in ones uh, 24 or 25 inches long. What I have in front of me now are bear canisters. And these are mostly a backpacking concern. You don't really need them for a car camping uh, in most locations. Um, but to give you an idea of the size, this is a bear vault with a four day capacity. This is the Garcia with six day capacity. And this is a bear vault with seven days capacity. These two are about the same size. This one has obviously a little bit more capacity. They're both about a foot tall and eight or nine inches in diameter. And then this one is shorter still. Then lastly are the boxes that we ship everything in. If we're just sending some electronics, some GPS's, messengers, things of that nature, it's going to go in a really small box, 10 by 10 by 3. That shouldn't cause anybody any problems. If we're just sending a single tent or a mattress pad or something like that, then they're going to start in a box about this size. But probably most common size. Uh, this is a 26 by 16 by 14. We could get a lot of gear in something like this, perhaps a, a backpack, a pretty large tent, a couple sleeping bags, a couple mattress pads. For a family of four, it might need uh, two of these if there's tons of other stuff with bigger chairs and everything going out. Some 
some families might get four or five uh, boxes of gear. Okay, so that's a quick recap on the size of some of the common pieces of gear and the boxes that they go in. Feel free to give us a call if you need some more specific information on our shipping program. Check it more out at www.lowergear.com.